Filmmakers in India had planned to mark International Women's Day by airing a documentary about the rape of a student on a New Delhi bus. But the government banned the program, saying it could incite violence against women. As Stuart Greer reports, the victim's family believes the film exposes attitudes about rape still entrenched in Indian society. It was a crime so shocking, so violent, that thousands took to the streets, forcing India to finally confront its shameful culture of rape. In December 2012, a 23-year-old woman died from horrific injuries after being gang-raped with an iron rod on a New Delhi bus. Her attackers did not think she belonged outside after dark. The men got even more angry and they thought they must teach her a lesson. Now, a BBC documentary titled India's Daughter delves into that crime and the attitudes of one of the convicted rapists. Mukesh Singh showed no remorse and blames the victim for her own death. When being raped, she should not fight back. She should just be silent and allowed the rape, he said. I got an insight and an understanding into the way he views women. And that is what is extremely shocking. But the Indian government is furious the interview took place. The government has taken necessary legal action. It has banned the documentary because it says it gave the rapist a platform to incite violence against women. The filmmaker Leslie Udwin has fled India fearing arrest. The victim's family and women's groups, however, say the government is overreacting and that the film only exposes deeper attitudes in Indian society. Some political leaders, they have also been saying the same things, blaming the victim. In the last years, India has made some progress, fast-tracking rape cases in the court, offering a new taxi service for women only, and a smartphone app so police can find a woman's exact location if she's in distress. But there have been several other high-profile rape cases following the bus attack, including an assault on a Japanese tourist last month. It shows violence against women is still a major problem in the country. Despite the government ban, Indians have been watching the controversial documentary online. And with the convicted rapists appealing their death sentences at the Supreme Court, this case will soon again be in the spotlight. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.